Hello Winnie Game fans, if you, like me, love the classics like Advanced Wars and Final Fantasy Tactics, you'll be happy to know that indie developers are carrying on that legacy in 2021. And having already taken a look at 15 titles, here are 10 more upcoming games in the genre that are worth a follow. Let's begin with Empire's Shall Fall, one that has a fairly obvious inspiration in Advanced Wars. However, what I do like is the diesel punk theme, where one side does appear to be medieval knights wielding guns, and the other has troops that look like skull-headed stormtroopers. The mechanics and combat screen are very reminiscent of the classic, where there appears to be three factions and story campaigns, as well as a custom upgrade system for your units, so it is of interest to fans of the genre. Divided. What does a nation need? Gallant heroes. Easily overcome by hatred and envy or soldiers with unwavering loyalty, but too used to peace. One of the reasons why I love making videos like this is that ever so often, I do come across some fantastic indie games that I'm excited to share with you, where the game of interest here is Crimson Tactics The Rise of the White Banner, one that's in a medieval high fantasy world set in the political turmoil that this genre is known for. There are over 25 character classes, 200 abilities and even a mount system, and although I personally would have preferred a pixel art look, the visuals are not too bad, making it one to watch. This video is brought to you by Fort Triumph, a high fantasy turn-based tactics title from developer Cookie Byte Entertainment and publisher All In Games. This is getting console ports today, available on PS4, Xbox One and Switch, with backwards compatibility on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Think of it as XCOM but with goblins, magic and knights and you get the idea, where one of the most interesting aspects is environmental interactions, where you're able to pull a stone pillar down on your enemies for example. It does also have elements from Heroes of Might and Magic in the exploration and base building, where I quite enjoyed this title on PC, so it has my recommendation. If you're waiting for the console releases, Please enjoy 20% off on Xbox, PlayStation and Epic, offer valid for a week, or 25% off on Switch, where the discount runs until the 26th. A pixel art title of interest is Shot Punk Vermin Fall, one that has a steampunk setting and if you cannot already tell from the title, has you battling swarms of rats. Not just regular old sewer rats, mind you, but full-on Warhammer style humanoid rats having a bunch of powerful weapons at your disposal. I have to be honest, this type of pixel art is not my favourite, with the faceless characters and lack of outlines, so it isn't super visually appealing to me, with this trailer looking a little framey as well, but an interesting setting makes it one to watch. This next title is still relatively early on in development, but I do follow the developer of Guardians of Grid Vale on Twitter, where this looks like a simple looking but well put together one of these. It has some influence from Into the Breach, where you're clearly able to see all enemy movements and thus have an active, timing based combat system like Paper Mario as compared to the percentage chance to hit. Environmental interactions are present as well, with, I quote, a story full of idiots and stupid jokes, end quote, so of course I'm in. <laughs> this 
this next title is something a little different, since Circle Empire's Tactics is from the developers of the real-time strategy game Circle Empires, but the developers have now converted that into a turn-based game, with, wait for it, simultaneous resolution. You are planning and predicting how your enemy will move, and have to counter their strategy when planning your own move, making it quite the game of chess, especially if you play against other humans. little teaser for the Black Pepper Crew as well, a jazzy turn-based tactics title where you and your crew of bounty hunters go after the criminals and corrupt officials in the city, with a nice variety of unique characters and abilities as well as great pixel art. An impressive looking title that does remind me of Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark is Reverie Knight's Tactics, a fantastic hand-drawn entry that will be for fans of the genre. This falls more on the tactical RPG end of things, where you control 4 unique heroes which can level up, instead of pumping out nameless fodder troops, going on a grand adventure to find the lost elven city while fending off the Goblin Horde. The story is supposed to have branching paths, with some visual novel style decision making, so I'm curious as to where this will go. Plenty of exploration and secrets to uncover as well, making it one to watch, and if you're curious, do check out the prologue demo on Steam. Another title with a fairly obvious inspiration is Spirit Bound Tactics, looking quite like Final Fantasy Tactics, and it's a title where you're leading a band of mercenaries, taking on various missions and fighting your way through. Twenty plus classes and hundred plus abilities gives it the variety, but I do like the pixel art look of this, although the environments do look a little bit drab. I do wonder how much meat there will be on the bones of this game, with the trailer teasing an amnesiac protagonist setup, so all fairly standard things for this genre, but if you've been waiting on Arcadian Atlas for far too long, this is perhaps another alternative to watch. Another nice surprise that I found is Warriors of the Now 2, the sequel to a surprise hit from last year, being an Egyptian themed tactics roguelite coming to us from I believe a two person Chinese team where I'm excited to see what's new in this. One more Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark like game to the list with Absolute Tactics Daughters of Mercy, another hand drawn high fantasy entry that does look awesome. The world and story is quite generic, where our protagonist and his dog must gather allies to defend their home against a deadly invading army. But with some fantastic character designs, including a blindfolded assassin, a flail wielding warrior, and one that just uses a battering ram as a weapon and more, does make this of interest. There are 21 individual character classes to choose from, with the option to dual class as well, so there's plenty of variety and options at your disposal. <laughs> There's also a large scale war aspect, and even what looks to be a team of enemy combatants to mirror your own, showing that it has potential, taking the number one spot. 
For more tactics titles, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.